Again Gaming folks, yesterday's show was delayed because I was dealing with a killer headache, no doubt from the extreme leg day exercises my trainer made me do. Exercise, am I right? Ugh, one of these days in the future, perhaps at some point exercise won't be as grueling and we'll have computers to tell us exactly at what level to work out at and when those will be the days. But for now, we have quite the light show for you today. That's right, if you catch my drift, let's start with our first story of the week. Have you ever felt like Nintendo Switch is just too dang heavy? Yeah, probably not. But that's not stopping the big end from introducing the Switch Lite. Yes, it's a handheld only version of the system sporting a more compact form, no detachable Joy-Cons, a proper D-pad, and a lower price point at 200 buckaroos. Plus it's arriving September 20th in three dope colors, gray, yellow, and turquoise. I'm pretty torn between yellow and turquoise at this point. To make matters worse in that department though, there's also a special Pokemon Sword and Shield edition of the Switch Lite coming in November that looks pretty legit. But what about you all? Are you planning to pick up a Switch Lite? I think it's cool and there's definitely a market for it, but I don't know if I can switch without my detachable Joy-Cons. Its multi-purposeness is what makes it so darn special. But share your thoughts about it below. Would really like to know. Just leave a comment. It's cool. With the Switch Lite seeing the light of day, I bet you're wondering about the long-rumored Switch Pro. Well, it doesn't seem like it's coming anytime soon. Nintendo of America President Doug Bowser told CNET that an upgraded Switch isn't in the cards right now. As such, the current Switch will be the other option. Now, I wonder what about the next two years, especially with a game like Breath of the Wild 2 launching. I mean, that's happening, so like, what's the deal? Anyways, the Xbox Germany social media team made a big oopsie this week. Oh yes, on Facebook, Xbox Germany posted a video that said Final Fantasy VII Remake was releasing on Xbox One on March 3rd. The clip was quickly removed with an Xbox Germany team member on Twitter calling it an internal mistake. IGN then reached out to Square Enix, which issued a statement saying, as previously announced, Final Fantasy VII Remake will be released for the PlayStation 4 on March 3rd, 2020. We have no plans for other platforms. Awkward. Let's just say I'm glad I'm not on the Xbox Germany social media team right now. Yikes. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the upcoming game, not the remaster or, you know, the original version, will contain a new multiplayer game mode called Gunfight. PC Gamer says it's tag team style rules, so that means two versus two on a super small map. You get a random loadout, and the whole thing seems focused on Sonic Gotta Go Fast matches. It sounds and looks pretty darn rad. The idea of everyone spawning with rockets pretty much cracks me up. Oh, and if you're curious about other Modern Warfare multiplayer modes, Infinity Ward will be revealing more on August 1st, which is kind of soon. Crazy. The kids are all right, as well as Invincible in Cyberpunk 2077. According to PC Gamer, CD Projekt Red addressed on Reddit which Night City residents are basically off limits to hurt in the upcoming RPG. The developer wrote, you won't be able to attack children or NPCs connected with the plot, but other than that, you can be aggressive towards most people you meet. Or you could always just take a cyber chill pill. You know, just saying. All right, if you've ever wanted to eat second breakfast, elevensies, dinner, and then supper, but worried about your midsection, yeah, I get that. Well, Amazon Game Studios might have you covered Virtually, that is. You see, a new Lord of the Rings MMO is on the way from Amazon that's based on the books, not Peter Jackson's film trilogy. Quick aside, The Two Towers is the best movie. Don't at me or Sauron eyeball me either, because that wouldn't be cool, because I obviously have the right answer. The MMO will be free to play for consoles as well as PC, obviously, and is developed in partnership with Layu. That said, there are no specifics on a release window. That's just fine because I need time to figure out what I want to do in Middle Earth in the first place. Like, could I just live in the Shire, basically be totally ignorant of everything going on? Or could I be a giant spider like Shellob and just terrify other players? That'd be cool. Cuphead, the game featuring stunning animation based on 1930s cartoons, 
is actually becoming a cartoon on Netflix. Called The Cuphead Show, Studio MDHR said on Twitter, witness the wondrous inkwell aisles as you've never seen them before in an original series inspired by classic animation styles of the 1930s. And by never seen them before, I think the developer means you won't toss your remote against the wall in a rage with the show. So we've all got that going for us at least, which is kind of nice, given that game is so freaking hard. Now I'm curious what you all are playing this weekend. Really, I want to know. Super Mario Maker 2, Judgment, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Fortnite, you know, if it's the Battle Royale game. Epic Games has said on Twitter, that mobile players should avoid using the iOS 13 beta, just so you know. It's apparently causing stability issues in Fortnite. As for me, I'm back and forth between Apex Season 2 and Sims 4, depending on my mood. Like when I need something relaxing and low intensity, I play Sims, and when I feel like socializing, I play Apex. I'm a happy camper. I don't camp in game, though. I'd get cru crucified if I did that, so. For reals, I don't camp in game. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a team player, right? Right, Kyle? Yes. Awesome. And that's the news for this week, folks. If you like today's show, as always, please show it with a sub, a like, or a comment. I'll be back, not next week. Yeah, I know, because guess what? Next week is SDCC, so I'll be out of town, away from my studio, and on a boat, apparently. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, you probably should to get more details on that whole thing. But seriously, I've got some amazing things coming, like my AMD-sponsored streams, including uh, those Oculus Rift S giveaways, so stay tuned to my Switch, Switch? Twitch channel for some good old streaming stuff. All right, guys, have a good last few remaining hours of your weekend. Go enjoy them really fast before it's too late. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.